guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Ben Kaser again. And for today's vlog, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo ang um, isa sa mga message na na-receive ko recently which is from Krista Micaela Tahe. Hello! And I'm so sorry ngayon lang ako nakapag-vlog. I know that I've asked for your permission if I can do this as one of my um, vlogs. I mean, one of my content uh, about your question to me. Um, so, the reason why I am doing this as my content or making this a content um, is that because I would love to encourage all of the other young entrepreneurs out there na wag matakot sumugal because it's, you know, it's usual sa business. Minsan matatakot talaga tayo. She asked me, she asked me, this is our conversation, I want to share it with you. Um, hi po, can I ask, can I ask po, hehe. <laughs> so then, uh, there is parang an automatic reply on my page. This is from my Facebook page that says, hi, thanks for contacting me. I've received your message and appreciate, appreciate you reaching out. And then, sabi niya, ate, I'm a student po kasi, and I was think, actually thinking po, if pwede po ba akong maging shopee seller. I think she was able to watch one of my vlogs wherein I created, or I was trying to teach the viewers how to create a shopee seller account. And then I answered her na, oh naman, pwede pwede. She then replied na, natatakot nga lang akong mag-risk ate kasi if ever na humingi ako ng pangkukunan sa parents ko, paano kung ma-waste ko lang yung money? Hehe. <laughs> Can I have some advice po ate? Alam niyo yung mga gantong chats, I actually am receiving lots of chats. Hindi naman sa parang ka-famous or whatever, pero I'm so lucky and I feel so, um, what do you call this? Parang, uh, I feel this overwhelmed feeling na parang, wow, feeling sick at ka, girl. Hindi naman, pero parang, ang sarap sa feeling that someone's asked you for their advice or they would say na parang pinapanood ko po yung vlogs nyo, I've learned a lot, or something like, can you teach me how to do this, or whatever. Parang ang sarap that some random people you don't really know, not your friends, not your family, not, you know, relatives or neighbors, really um, make time to reach out para mag, uh, magsabi or magtanong or just to uh, say that or acknowledge or say thank you kasi they've learned something from your video that means really a lot and so much to me and for Krista to ask me for some advice I was really overwhelmed and thank you for trusting me to give you an advice about business wherein hindi naman din ako malaking entrepreneur but I'm really hoping that I will grow someday and nag-hope din ako na sana ikaw din whatever it is na pasukin mo na business and eh, mag-grow din in the future so, this is what I replied to her. I said that business is always a risk. Which is so to naman, diba? Business is always a risk. Remember that. Sometimes, it takes time bago mo makita yung income, bago makilala page mo. It even takes losses minsan na sa sayo yan kasi ikaw ang tartabaho. Ikaw ang gagalaw. Ikaw manager pero ikaw din ang employee. Discard mo ang advertisement at produkto mo pati ng Shopee account mo. Tingnan mo muna ano bang interest mo talaga sa kamo alamin ang ibibenta mo. And then she replied, Salamat ate, na-appreciate ko po yung pag-give niya sa akin ng time para makapag-advise po. Tama ka po ate, kailangan ko nga po talagang pag-isipan muna. Siguro hindi po muna basta-basta magda-decide. Thank you po. And I have another suggestion to her which is na kanya nga, sinabi ko sa kanya na lahat ng ng bagay talaga is dapat pinag-iisipan, pinaplano, you can't rush something na gusto mo mag-last ng matagal. And, we have some, you know, more exchange of messages, but this content really, I've, I've done this to encourage you young people out there, yung mga gusto maging entrepreneur, small business uh, owners, don't be afraid to take risks. Kasi life is a risk and business is also a risk. You cannot enter business. So, yun nga, you cannot enter business and expect na in just a day or two or a month, 
uh, ikita na ako ng malaki or kita ko na yung hat ng earnings ko, I can get my net na. Parang, it's not like that. Uh, building a business is like investing. Investing in the whole one to two years, um, parang sinesemento mo pa yung pandasya ng business mo, maglalabas ka pa ng maglalabas ng pera for your advertisement, just like how the big uh, companies do it, di ba? Sila nagko-commercial pa talaga, lalaki na binabayad nila because they want to establish the name. They want people to to know the product. Ganun ka din. Hindi ka man siguro gagastos ng malaki, but you have to do your own advertisement. And in this fast-growing technology na meron tayo ngayon, you can do your own page, you can have IG, Facebook page, Twitter page, you can even have your own Shopee seller account, kagaya nga no tinuro ko dun sa video na yon. And, ang daming platform, even TikTok, pwede ka mag-promote ng product mo. So, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, sa pagiging small business owner or small entrepreneur, you become the manager, ikaw may hawak ng oras mo, but at the same time, sa'yo lahat ng pagod dahil ikaw din ang empleyado ng sarili mong business. And, lahat ng result, eh, magbavary din sa 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 weight ng trabaho ng ginawa mo kung um, nagawa mo maayos yung marketing mo yung advertisement mo na i na i share mo ba sa friends mo sa page mo na i na ilaku mo ba yung pangalan mo ginandahan mo ba yung presentation to people social media ang daming nakakita it even can reach millions of people kapag maganda yung presentation mo on social 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 media <laughs> di ba ang daling mag, parang mag-invite ng people to watch whatever it is you are presenting. So, kagaya nga nang sabi ko, ikaw ang bahala kasi nasa kamay mo. Parang lahat ng, ng gusto mo ma-achieve, nasa sa kamay mo. It, whatever it is, again, paulit ko ko sabihin, whatever it is that your mind conceives, your body can achieve. At kahit isipin mo man ng isipin, pero kung hindi ka din gagalaw, wala din. So, it's it's true that law of attraction works but you know law of attraction doesn't just work dahil inisip mo it also works because unconsciously nagagawa din natin yung dapat para ma-achieve yung goals natin and again i would love to encourage you guys na huwag kayong ma parang ma feel down if you think na parang on your first try hindi binibili and even your mga friends parang hindi sinong support yung business mo. You know, in business, it usually takes uh, random people para mag-acknowledge and mag-try ng product mo. You cannot really rely on family and friends. It's, it's not that I'm bad-mouthing yung relationship natin with our closest uh, people, but it's because sometimes they also have these doubts kung kaya mo ba. I know that that shouldn't be the thing, but it's, you know, it's natural uh, dilemma eh, na hindi talaga agad parang itatrust ng mga closest mo na tao yung binibuild mo na empire or na, na business so it depends na lang talaga on your marketing strategy and kagaya nga nang sabi ko hindi laging kikita agad ng business sometimes it takes losses bago to mag grow it takes lots of investments of time, effort, and money. Really money. Kung gusto mo na mag siya. But again, it doesn't have to be a huge money na dapat mo ilabas. Kasi there are there are certain types of businesses, eh, ba? May business na pwede magpuhunan lang ng 2,000. May business na nagpupuhunan ng million. It depends to you. Check what interests you the most kung ano yung interest mo kasi, mas madali yung i-market kasi alam mo yung item eh. And that, because that is your interest, mas, mas ganado kang pag-aralan yung product, mas, mas, mas bibigyan mo ng time yung pag-research about it kasi yun yung interest mo eh. So, you make sure you know you what your interest, kung ano yung interest mo, kung ano yung gusto mo, para hindi ka din mag-waste ng time na parang binibenta mo yung item na hindi mo alam. Kasi, people would always ask you, consumer, really, uh, parang napaka-detail yung mga tao. So, dapat alam mo lahat ng questions, I mean, ng answers sa questions nila. And another tip, yun nga guys, uh, I, 
I mentioned earlier na, whatever it is na gusto nyong magtagal, kailangan nyo nga naman talagang pag-isipan na mabuti. Hindi tayo pwedeng bumasok ng bumasok na lang into something. Tapos hindi tayo sure kung kung paano i-handle, kung paano mag-grow, kung paano mag, magpo-profit yung business na to. You have to think whatever it is that you want has to be planned really, really well. Hindi basta pasok lang kasi parang kumita si ganito dun eh. Parang gusto ko yun kasi kikita rin ako dun. It's not the thing. It depends. Iba yung pagod niya, iba yung pagod mo. Iba yung level ng effort niya, iba yung level ng effort mo. Kasi you have to to be really dedicated on the business. Kung gusto mo yan, magtatrabuha mo, pag-aaralan mo lahat ng detalye. Not because nakita mong kumita yung ibang tao with that certain product or certain line of business, ganun ka din. Kasi it takes time, effort, and knowledge, skills before mag-grow ang kahit anong business. So, think about it ng maraming beses before kang mag- invest into something. Because, ikaw din naman ang parang magbubrot into yourself ng, ng income or loss mo. So, pag-aralan mo nga buti. You don't have to really do parang sobrang feasibility sa din na okay na ganun. Pero, you have to know in yourself what you want, what you know na already, kung ano na yung alam mo sa product na yan, and what you are willing to know about the product para mag-grow yung business na gusto mo. And, yeah, that would be all. Um, lahat tayo gusto kumita ng pera. So, lahat tayo dapat maging maingat sa kahit anong investment na papasukin natin. Maybe, it's just a small business or it could be a really huge business but we all have to think um, pare, parang to think the same na money is something that could help us, you know, do good things then. Money is a tool, but hindi, uh, what do you call this? Parang, sinasabi ka ng lahat, diba, na, that money can't buy happiness. Yes, it can, but money is a tool where we can use to attain and parang reach the goals that makes us happy. That would be our tool. Kaya maging maingat tayo sa pag invest and pag business You always think about what you want, what you really, really want. Tapos, invest. Galaw. Trabaho. Diba? Ganon. So, again guys, I, I want you to go with what you're thinking. Um, go and achieve your goals. Go and invest if that's what you want. Don't be afraid, just take the risk kasi lahat naman talaga ng bagay it takes risk. Walang sigurado sa mundong to, but one thing is for sure. Kapag gusto mo, kapag trinabaho mo, kapag ginalawan mo, never kang malulugi. Kasi there could be times na malugi ka talaga in terms of money dahil hindi talaga eh. It happens, but at least you gain the knowledge, the skills, and the experience, you would always gain something. Look at it in the positive side. Kahit anong klaseng loss pa ang ma-experience natin, may it be, you know, people we love, things we adore, um, the things that we have in our possession, mawala man sa possession natin yun, there would always be a lesson on that. And meron tayong magigain. So yeah, that's it. Positive thinking lang, guys. Kaya mo yan. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Laban lang lagi. Kapag may gusto, kaya. Pag may gusto, gawin ng paraan. Pag may gusto, tatrabawuhin, maaabot. Bye!